Okay, so now let us look at uh, uh, a new concept. It's called the type one uh, improper integral. So uh, loosely speaking, the type one um, improper integral, uh, it's the integral uh, where the limit get involved with either negative infinity or positive infinity, okay? So for example, the integral from a to positive infinity fx dx, or the integral from negative infinity to b fx dx, or, you know, from negative infinity to positive infinity fx dx. Um, and um, to deal with uh, this type of integral, the idea actually is pretty straightforward. So first of all, we're gonna convert this type of integral into a limit. And how do we do that? Actually, it's we're gonna substitute this infinity, let's say, to be a variable b. And then you evaluate this definite integral here. The result is gonna be uh, a solution involved with b. And then you take the limit, let b goes to infinity, to see what happens. If this limit exists, we call that that integral converges to that limit. And if not, we claim that integral is diverged. Okay, same deal for um, you know this situation. You can evaluate this integral and then let a goes to negative infinity to see what happens. So for the type from negative infinity to positive infinity here, and uh, you can find an intermediate value uh, which is c and then so this integral can be written as from negative infinity to c plus c to positive infinity and for this part you can go to this part you can go to this uh, and then for this integral uh, you can refer to the first part so that is uh, about this um, type one improper integral okay so now let us look at one example here so the example says like this. So if I have an integral from one to infinite, and it's one over x to the power of p on dx, okay. So for here we uh, set p does not equal one, because if p equals one, you have one over x, and uh, that gonna give you its ln uh, of x, okay, absolute value of x. So anyway, um, let's try to uh, work on that. So, uh, as we see that, first of all, I would like to evaluate the definite integral from 1 to b, 1 over x to the power of p dx. Here, okay. So, based on what we have, which is, uh, you know, you can rewrite this as x to the power of minus p dx. So, we can evaluate this as x to the power of minus p um, plus 1 over minus p plus 1 uh, and then it is from 1 to b okay so it is uh, uh, easy to uh, evaluate this uh, uh, definite integral all we need to do is just to, to plug in okay so when we uh, this negative p plus 1 is a constant here so what we can do is we can pull this out as 1 over negative p plus 1 and then substitute x with b that give us as b uh, to the power of negative p plus 1 and then minus 1 raised to any power is still is 1. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Okay, that complete <coughs> excuse me, the uh, first task. Okay, and then second we're gonna take the limit, let b goes to infinite to this result, which is one over negative p plus one. And then b to the power of negative p plus one minus one, okay? We're trying to evaluate this limit. And uh, it turns out that um, whether this limit exists or not, uh, it depends on what type of value we take for p. So when p is greater than 1, and uh, so we get that uh, um, 
negative p plus 1 uh, is going to be less than 0. Okay, less than 0. And uh, as you can see, if negative p plus 1 is less than 0, so as b goes to infinite, so think about it, it's a very large number raised to a negative power. So this part actually going to become 0. So when p is greater than 1, and after evaluation, this part is 0, only left 1 over negative p plus 1 times negative 1. So that limit going to become into so the limit of this okay um, gonna become uh, so so uh, so this part let me actually rewrite it so this part gonna become into zero so that limit is gonna be uh, one over negative p plus one multiply negative one turns out it's gonna be one over p minus 1. I ought to, because you multiply negative, distribute negative to the denominator, become 1 over p minus 1. Okay. So that is the situation when p is greater than 1. Uh, and then when p is less than 1, here, as you can see that, uh, so negative p plus 1 actually is greater than 0. Okay. So under this situation, as you can see, the limit b goes to infinite, 1 over negative p plus 1. Um, b to the power negative v plus 1 and minus 1. So this limit actually going to go to infinite. Why? Because you have uh, uh, b goes to positive infinity and then goes to a positive power. So the overall here is going to be positive infinity. So this, this limit we can claim as infinite. Okay. So... Uh, we can uh, make a summarize with what we have here. So the integral 1 to infinite y over x to the power of p dx, you know, assume p does not equal to 1, okay? It's going to be uh, 1 over p minus 1 when p is greater than 1. In other words, this integral converges to 1 over p minus 1 when p is greater than 1. And then when p is less than 1, and then this function, uh, this integral actually is diverged, it goes to infinite. Okay? So that is a brief example about the type 1 um, improper integral. So hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for the watching.